What's going on, guys? This morning, day trading, uh, showing you guys pre-market my entry, my exit here on a trade that I took that might not seem like a good trade to you guys. People out there are like, why would you short in this stock? It's got good news. It's got everything looking bullish about it. But if you look at the chart, you can see it clearly it was overextended. I saw the entry. I saw the volume just not really being there. I was reading more about the news, and I was like, hmm, if the news is really this good, and there's the stock has pushed up this high pre-market, there's probably a good chance that this should pull back just a little bit, even just if it is, you know, bullish. You know, naturally these stocks move in waves. These stocks don't just go straight up. They're gonna pull back even if they are bullish. Even if the stock has good news, there's still a good chance when that volume is low pre-market that the stock is going to pull back, and that's what we did. Ended up shorting into that strength and then covering into the weakness as the stock naturally pulled back in that wave formation so i'm gonna show you guys the trade here all in real time here in a second so let's let's do it all right so it's early morning pre-market trying to get a tr quick trade in here i gotta get some things done today and you can see i'm short there on q u r e at 29.75 i was looking for this to push back up there towards some resistance got some resistance there at the 28.80 area look at the daily chart here this thing Big old gap up there from $23 up there to $32. Just looking really overextended right now. Looking really overextended. And, uh, you know, we're kind of running into some previous resistance and all that. So I'm basically playing into the idea of this just really being overextended here pre-market and looking for a pullback down there below $29. We get down there below $29, I think uh, it'd be a quick little in and out kind of trade. And I uh, make some money this morning. Like I said, I'm looking for this to break below $29 again and uh, show some weakness, get down there below uh, $29 here. Looking like it's setting up for that pretty nicely. So let's see if we can get down there below $29, down there to uh, 28 maybe even. I'll probably cover 500 shares if we break below 29 here in a second. Now, obviously, when you're shorting, you got to cover on the ask or in between. So I'm looking for this to break below 29 here and then look for a cover 500 shares. Volume's still kind of low this morning, too, so that's one of the reasons I'm thinking this move is not going to be able to hold. So 27%. Got some buyers stepping up there at $29 right now. But uh, we'll see what happens here in a second. Using my stop there at $30. So I'm risking $0.25 cents for a full dollar move. So pretty good risk reward there at that point. So looking for this break through $29 here. I like to see this break through just support area there. I think we get that break, we get a nice little crash. Should maybe get down there to low 28 pretty quickly. You can see the uh, bid there at 28.11 after that 29 buyer. So looking looking pretty uh, good right now. Just need to break through that 29 buyer, and we're uh, off to the races, I think. All right, here we go. Testing that 29 buyer again. Let's see if we can push through here. Some selling pressure popping up there. Just need to get through that 29 buyer here to uh, the low 28. It's giving a little bit of time. Just keeping an eye on it right now. Like I said, I want to see this continue that lower movement. If it gets back up here and breaks above 29.40, I'll get out. Basically, is my uh, plan at this point. There we go, 28.55. I'm going to see if this can get all the way down there to the low 28s. Give it a little bit of time here. Looking like there's some decent selling pressure popping up there. Looking for us to break through the 28.50. I think we get the break here. Looking decent selling pressure stacking up there. 28.74 stacking. See that seller sitting there. So let's see if we can break through here. Get that drop down there to $28. So I'm going to go ahead and cover the last 500 shares there at 28.74 just to uh, lock it down. Like I said, I got a, I got a million things I got to do today, but that's still over a dollar move for us. But so you can see uh, P&L here making $885 there on QURE, basically just shorting into the idea of this being overextended this morning. Big, massive move pre-market. The volume just really wasn't there. The volume was telling us, hey, it's not looking that hot right now. You know, obviously, if the volume was a lot higher and we saw you know stronger move it would have been a different play but you can see just kind of these spikes and even so you know the stock is just moving in this wave so 
kind of looking at this as being the top of the wave and then still looking for that pullback down there to the 28s, uh, down to the bottom of those EMAs, that previous support bounce there at the $28. And that was kind of my overall game plan. Sometimes you just got to take that profit when you got it, and that's what we did today. We took the profit, and uh, we're, we're going to call it right there. And I'm going to go ahead and uh, wrap this up quick and easy. Uh, that was not a bad way to start the day here. Green, like I said, I got a lot of stuff I got to handle today. So I will talk to you guys later on. If you haven't already, make sure you hit that subscribe button quick and easy. Making some money this morning. Shorting into strength, covering into weakness. A lot of people out there tell you to not shorten the strength, but hey, it seems to be working sometimes. It works sometimes. The key here is really just being able to identify, you know, that there is just the idea that this is overextended. And, you know, naturally, even if the stock is bullish, there's a good chance that that stock is going to pull back and test the previous support, uh, previous, you know, EMA area, and then look for that move higher from there. So that's what we did. We got the cover, and uh, we're locking it down right there. And I'll talk to you guys later on. <laughs>